part of a network of 500,000 charging stations. Ford tells NBC News exclusively it is going all in on electric. In an attempt to compete with Tesla, the car industry is starting to produce more electric cars. But there's a major issue. There are not enough EV consumers because not everyone can purchase them. Of course, not all EVs are as hot as others. Customers are considering their EV alternatives more carefully in light of cost and charging issues, indicating it could be harder than first believed to increase EV market share. To find out which electric cars are spending the most time in the dealer's lot, we've collected EV data on inventory from CarEdge. We have ranked this list according to market day supply, a measure of how many days it would take to sell the current inventory of vehicles at the current sales rate. So let's start from the bottom to the top. Number 10. Cadillac Lyric. The General Motors company is having trouble turning a profit on its premium brand. In several international countries, Cadillac was compelled to lower the price of the Lyric electric car. Cadillac's initial entry into the premium electric car segment has a clean interior and a classy exterior. Models with twin-motor all-wheel drive and single-motor rear-wheel drive are provided with a range of as much as 312 miles after being charged. Nevertheless, the business finds the US market for Lyric to be somewhat unappealing. According to statistics from Car Edge, 2,681 Lyric EVs are expected to remain on the dealer lot for a duration of 151 days before they are purchased. Due to declining demand and technical difficulties, General Motors has officially postponed the release of the Silverado EV pickup truck for one additional year. This may not be a coincidence. According to General Motors, there is so little demand that the company is relocating 1,000 workers from its Lake Orion, Michigan, assembly plant, which was retooled for EVs, to other sites in Michigan. Number 9. Mercedes-Benz EQE. This 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE represents one of the EVs that Mercedes-Benz has recently added to its range. The company appears to be very active lately. Mercedes-Benz's latest electric sedan is built on a scaled-down version of the company's EQ platform, which was introduced with the EQs. The company that makes the vehicle states that the non-AMG version can travel up to 305 miles before running out of charging, but dealer inventory data indicates that buyers aren't too excited about the electric car from the manufacturer. According to an American manager of a Mercedes dealership, he only has enough gas automobiles for 50 days but he presently has more than six months' worth of electric vehicles. The EVs are arriving, whether or not you requested them, said by the dealer. According to information from Car Edge, sellers have 144 days' supply of Mercedes-Benz EQE inventory on hand. Number 8. Nissan Leaf. The Leaf, the very first mass-market EV, gained popularity after its 2010 introduction. It was an electric, tiny automobile. With sales steadily dropping for a number of years, the five-door hatchback has lost momentum despite an average cost of $33,000. Nissan, a Japanese carmaker, has acknowledged that it will be phased out of the Leaf EV. It is not shocking that older e-models, such as the Nissan Leaf, are selling slowly, according to data from Car Edge. US dealers now have a 2,626 Nissan Leaf in their shop and ready for their customers. The market supply lasts for 161 days. Number 7. Ford F-150 Lightning You would assume that the Ford F-150 Lightning is selling like pancakes after more than a year of being on the EV market, but the truth is quite the opposite. According to a report, there are currently around 9,000 Lightning pickups parked near US dealers that may be delivered right now. That amounts to 182 days of market supplies which is a sizable number of electric pickup trucks to be laying around. There are two electric motors included in the Ford F-150 Lightning versions for 2023, with the bigger extended range battery, which powers the engine with a staggering 580 horsepower. The Lightning can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 4 seconds. The engine's powertrain is powered by either of two rechargeable batteries. Even though drawing a trailer rapidly drains the battery, it still requires charging at regular intervals. The EPA estimates that the standard battery can go 230 miles or up to 320 miles on a full charge. While filling up your vehicle's tank, a little lost gas mileage is acceptable because it just takes a few minutes. However, batteries may make the trade-off more difficult when charging takes longer. Still, it's clear that sales of the electric F-150 have plummeted, 
Contrary to previous layoffs, the carmaker just announced that it is cutting off around 700 workers at the Michigan factory that produces the electric. This layoff is unrelated to the UAW's recent strike. However, the Ford company has lately acknowledged that it is unable to meet the demands of consumers for the Maverick, the electric pickup truck featuring a combustion engine that they genuinely desire. Given the billions of dollars it has invested in EVs, future Ford could need to wait to see if consumers are interested in these EVs. Please consider liking and subscribing if you are new to the channel in order to see more videos like this. Number 6. Genesis GV60 as the very first Genesis electric vehicle and an innovative version for 2023, the GV60 represents a new competitor. Two versions are available for the US, with a 77-point for kilowatt battery pack. Both the advanced and performance models offer a dual-motor all-wheel drive system. The advanced netting 248 miles has a somewhat higher range and horsepower than the performance trims 235 miles. Although there was a lot of anticipation and enthusiasm when the Korean electric crossover debuted, a Car Edge article claims that US dealerships are only carrying a 190-day stock of the new Genesis GV60, indicating a slowdown in sales even though the vehicle is just in its second edition year. With approximately 250 units delivered on average per month within the US, the Genesis GV60 sales are low when compared to those of its competitor cars and some of these cars are the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, each of which has lately reported sales quantities each month of almost 2,000 units, despite being a premium brand. Car Edge says that the average sales cost of this 2023 GV60 is about $66,000, which may account for some of the low demand. Number 5. Ford Mustang Mach-E The company's sales figures, the quantity of EV supply, and dealer feedback all suggest that Ford is currently sitting on more Ford Mustang Mach-E than it can possibly sell, a warning that the company's EV goals are still exceeding demand. Either a normal-range 70kWh battery or a long-range 91kWh battery is offered for a Ford Mustang Mach-E. For the complete lineup, the EPA estimates range from 224 to 312 miles after it is charged, according to Car Edge. Approximately 25,000 Mach-E SUVs are reportedly sitting idle at Ford dealerships. At the present stage of sales, lots without buyers are worth 204 days or worth of market supplies. Ford plans to produce 600,000 electric-powered cars this year. However, even though it is investing $50 billion in the new plans, it expects to lose at least $3 billion and probably won't make money in the market for three years. Large refunds and sharp price reductions to match Tesla's pricing war also has a negative impact on business, as dealers must pay anywhere from $500,000 to $1 million to obtain EV certification in order to sell the pricey and typically unprofitable cars. Ford dealers on the East Coast told Autoblog Insider that although they are optimistic about and willing to invest in EVs, the company's current manufacturing rate is not keeping up with consumer demand. Number 4. Porsche Taycan, the company's first battery-powered car, is a sedan sports car that delivers on the elite performance reputation of the company. Great acceleration, quick handling, and an aggressive appearance are all features of the 2020 Porsche Taycan. Yet, the carmaker hasn't been able to maintain success as a result, as seen by the company's declining sales numbers and low growth over the last almost two years. A little over 2,600 taken units are being held by dealers on their shop, which at the present sales phase equates to a 239 market day supply, according to statistics from Car Edge. With an average selling price of $131,000, that is a remarkable amount from non mainstream e markets. Number 3 and 2 The Mercedes Benz EQS sedan and the SUV. The company that is most prepared and financially secure to enter the EV future is Mercedes-Benz. The carmaker's latest electric vehicles for luxury consumers are the 2024 Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan and the SUV. EQS versions are equipped with a battery pack made of lithium-ion that has an estimated range for driving ranging from 200 and 85 to 340 miles and a usable battery life of 108.4 kilowatts. However, the truth is that Benz dealers are finding it difficult to sell EVs. They have voiced complaints about EQS's lack of ambition, its excessive price premium, particularly for the top of the EQ lineup, and its almost non-existent leasing assistance. Although these EQS sedan and SUV variants have starting MSRPs in the range of $15,000, 
and average price tags of $130,000. Car Edge says that dealers presently having about 221 market day stocks of EQS cars in their inventories. Number 1. Jaguar I-Pace Regarding the I-Pace EV crossover, Jaguar has not been able to generate much of an impression. When it initially appeared on the American market in 2019, the starting price was $80,000, but with extra features, the price frequently climbed past a $90,000 selling price. This was despite the fact that the product was launched before a number of its fellow competitors did. Presently, dealers are unable to sell them. Only a small percentage of people were prepared to spend that much money on an insecure EV with a limited range and issues from the start. Many were unable to reach the 300 miles that the Jaguar company claimed, and it was beset by a litany of electrical glitches. Due to dealer technicians' lack of training, early adopters experienced difficulties having their I-Pace EVs serviced. According to Car Edge, Jaguar sellers have 400 units overall and are sitting on the market without a customer. That's a small amount of inventory that could cover roughly two years' worth of cars available for the market. The issue is that no one wants to purchase them. Acknowledging this as well, the manufacturer is ending the I-Pace prior to the company's 2025 rebranding. If you want to see more video like this, please subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video, you may also enjoy this one.